right sir now it's okay fine Guys, now then check it what we completed there in the last session. If you observe this clearly, then input and output statements we are discussing there. In the output statement, almost all I completed input statements part we completed there. After completion of this input statement, next one is like what we completed there. Output statements also will be started. An output statement, output statement already we had discussion on like which one, number of number of things we discussed here. Okay? Now just we are able to understand it. What are the various things here we are discussing now? If you observe this point now, right? Understand this. <coughs> And uh, formatted output formations also will be started there in the case of this output statements. Come on, guys. Now I'm asking one question to you. In how many ways we are able to perform this output formations there? Any idea? In how many ways we are able to perform this output formations? Now tell me. In two ways we are able to perform this output formations. What are the two ways here? One is by using formatted symbols, and other one is by using like which one? Can you know? placeholders. One is by using formatted symbols and second one is like which one? Placeholders. So these are like which one here? Output. That means formatted symbols now. Right. Next one is, then after that, placeholders are available. What exactly the placeholders here? We can observe this clearly. Right. So two types of placeholders are available here that we know already. What are the two types of placeholders here? And the first one is like which one here? Index based placeholders and the second one is like which one after this index based placeholders and uh, second content is like which one name based placeholders name based placeholders these are the two types of placeholders are available index based placeholders second one name based placeholders that's okay good these are the two types of placeholders that we are getting in a way that's okay good already we have seen it if you want to use this, this uh, like which one formatted symbols now, where that exact types we have to provide. If you provide any mistake, we are able to get some problem. Right, so then how we are able to provide this index based placeholders now? Index based placeholders in the sense in the message we have to include like which one curly braces where we have to provide like which one index values 0 uh, or maybe like what next one care 1 now? Like this care we have to provide like which one some indexes here like this. So, Inside this, we have to provide like which one that exact index value here we have to provide. As for the order, order must be followed. So whatever the string here we have taken here, inside the to the string, we have to call which one format method here we have to call it. Dot format method here we have to call. Inside this format method, we have to provide like which one the exact values. So val one comma val two comma val three like this here we have to provide. So then what will happen there now? Val one will be provided to zeroth index. Val2 will be provided to first index and Val3 will be provided to second index. This is going on exactly now. Val1 will provide to 0th index, Val2 is provided to first index and Val3 is provided to like which one can know second index here. Like this here we are able to get our content clearly. This is one point. So here to overcome this problem we have to go for like which one name based placeholders. What about this name based placeholders now? Inside our string uh, we have to apply like which one and some names. So say for example, X is a name. Something else. Now get one more time here. We have to provide like which one? Y. We have to provide this. This is also be a name. Next one is after that. Here we have to provide like which one? What next one here? Uh, here we have to provide like which one? Z we have to provide. And so on and so on and so on. Like this. Here also we have to call like which one format. Format of. Now get what we have to provide? X is equal to some value here we want to provide like which one x is equal to one comma and y is equal to val2 comma z is equal to like which one val3 that to provide the values here clearly so this is the way now now in this scenario we can provide we can provide the replacements in any way in this scenario we can provide like which one replacement in any way now in any way here we can provide like which one replacement all of you observe this clearly what i am telling to you now so this is what exactly the meaning of like which one can you know 
name based place holders and what next one can know index based place holders already we completed this part scale understand it guys what i'm telling you but here my requirement is like which one here what about my requirement no listen all of you listen carefully uh, just one point last point is remaining inside this already we shown all these points no one last point is remaining that point here i want to show there okay guys just wait a minute of time let me show this point also no and after that i will go for conditional statement topic conditional statements i want to discuss them no here itself now So what is your YouTube link? And I think sir, my YouTube link is Durga Soft link only. That's it. Jupiter notebook. I'm trying to open. Guys and those who are in uh, YouTube online and uh, are you seeing my screen? Jupyter Notebook screen. Uh, uh, are you seeing my screen? Those who are in uh, YouTube live. Yeah. Now here we are getting this part. Now understand this. All of you observe this clearly. For example, what I want to provide there, one simple example I want to provide, no? Listen carefully. We know already this point scale. Mm, say for example, simple message I want to prepare. Name is equal to Durga. Name is equal to Durga. Age is equal to 28, for example. And uh, Qualification is equal to company. company is equal to, for example, textile technologies. Right, so now this is the data here what we provided. There. Observe this clearly now. This is the data here what we provided. Now, what I want to know, I want to display the data. How am I able to display the data? Here I'll prepare a string message. Here itself, we can provide this. Here I am going to prepare a string message. I am. Just what I have to do now. I just I want to provide like which one? Zero. Index now. Index based placeholders I'm providing. Right. Next one is my age is one. My age is one, and next one is like which one? My qualifications. My qualifications is like which one here? And two, comma. Then what next one here? And I am working with. I am working with. Uh, here we have to provide like which one? That means three. All right. So then what we have to do? Then after that, no. Here we have to provide like which one and this might be I want to take as a string you know. Separately I want to take it as a string. Message. This one here we want to provide. This is message anyway. Now, 
message dot format of after this message dot format of here what we have to do now <coughs> now i need to provide like which one values what are the values here for this zero index now i need to provide name comma and for this first one i need to provide like which one is for the second one i need to provide like which one company that's it comma and for this third one here what we have to provide there no well i think the so, third one is like which one well so if i run this one here we are able to get some output i am durga my age is 28 my qualification is mtech i am working with the hcm technologies like this we are providing sir that's it right Okay, fine. Then this is like which one here? No. This is like which one here? No. The message here. Then here what we provided here? No. This uh, index based placeholder here we provided. Right. Next one is after completion of this, then what we are getting there clearly. I want to provide some names. Why? Because the problem is if I interchange these. Uh, arguments in the format method the total meaning will be changed so to overcome this problem what we have to use there we have to use like which one names exactly names here we have to use all right so now first one is like which just i want to give uh, just name on i want to provide no problem just we can use that name as it is in place of this what we have to provide there no yes we can use that yes right, no problem we can provide that yes after this all right so now after completion of this then what next one here? My qualification. Here we need to provide like which one? Well, qualification here we provided. Next one is like which one? That we provided. Spring is okay, fine. Now, inside this, what we have to provide there? Format method here we are calling. Inside this format method, just I need to specify name is equal to name. Don't get any confusion, guys. This name is which one here now this name argument name that means placeholder this name is which one variable name automatically that uh, pvm will interpret it like this as it is we are not going to think much about it it's like which one then now for that age is equal to like age here we are able to provide now here also age is equal to is next one is then now for that qual is equal to qual now here also what i want to provide here company is equal to company so you should not get any confusion left side for each and every assignment operator left side variable is which one placeholder name right side variable is which one they know exact variable name to which we want to provide some replacement that's it that's it this is you know this is like which one again the content here what i'm telling to you now let me execute this so here we're able to get the same output no changes, no different output, same output here we are getting. That's okay, good. And uh, now, what is the point I'm telling to you? My question is two examples here we provided here. That's it. Then placeholder name, anything here, not not same as this one. Even I can use that X, Y, Z also, no problem. Okay, fine, that's not the question. Now, listen, then what's the point I'm telling to you? What's the point I'm telling to you? Just recognize clearly what I'm telling to you now. My requirement is, is it possible to provide both placeholders in a single message? Is it possible to provide both placeholders in a single message? Hmm? They have to answer for my question. Is it possible to provide both the messages in a single, both the, both the placeholders in a single message? Is it possible? Come on, guys, you have to give answer for it. Is it possible to provide placeholders in a single message both the placeholders in a single message right if we if we if we want to provide if we want to provide both of them then there is a small condition what is that condition practically i want to show this condition also all right so now here we provided our message like which one message is equal to something else here we have taken that's okay fine 
Now we can now do this. Right now listen carefully. This is which one name based. This is like which one age based. Now I want to provide this is like which one index based, and this is also be I want to provide like which one index based. Come on guys, observe this clearly. No, first two are name based placeholders. Next two are which one index based placeholders that I provided. Corresponding I need to provide values. Name is equal to name. That's fine. And name is age is equal to age. That's okay fine. But now we should not provide like which one here now that uh, like this no just we have to provide equal and here we have to provide like which one name company that we have to provide now let me run it if it is executing successful and if you are getting output as it is no then it will be good and it will be good so here we will not get any problem here if you do this one click on this control enter no uh, now here we are getting an error what is the error guys now please read this error no what is the error here we are getting please read this error here is all of you know read this error what you are getting there right so that error would be like which one positional argument to follows keyword argument positional argument to follows keyword argument that's it positional argument to follows keyword argument this is the error here we are getting sir all of you do this clearly what i'm telling you know right positional argument follows keyword argument Okay, fine now. Listen carefully. This time, what I will do now, I will change this one. Here, I want to provide like which one? Zero. And first two, I want to provide as was like which one? Zero. Next two, I want to provide as which one? Zero. Name. That means next one is like which one? Here, company. This is my data. All of you, up to this screen. This is my data. Corresponding, I have to provide our data. Now, first one is like which one? Here, name we have to provide. Just yes, only positional arguments, index-based arguments. Here we are providing. For them, here we provided there. And next one is like which one? Qual is equal to qual. Next one is like which one? Company is equal to company. That we are providing. All of you, up to this screen. Now, what is the situation, guys? What is the situation? Will you get any error now? Will you get any error now? Understand it. So first I provided which one? Uh, like a positional arguments. Next one is I provided like which one? Keyword argument. That means first index based. Index based. Uh, index based uh, placeholders I provided. Then later on what we provided here? Later on we provided like which one? After this index based. Later on we provided like which one? Mm, say for example name based arguments I provide. Control enter. If I click on this control enter, now get are you getting any error sir? Now check it now. Are you getting any error? Are you getting any error now? No error. Then directly we are getting output or not? Output or not? Directly here we are getting output or not? That's it. We are getting we are not getting any error. Then we are getting some output. Now tell me what exactly, what exactly the process is going on here. What is the meaning of this one? We have to observe this clearly. What is the meaning of this? Right. The point is which one? The point is like which one here? What is the conclusion here? So what is the conclusion here? I'm telling you here. Now, in the output formation, we are able to use both Index based place folders and name based place folders, but we must provide, but we must provide first index based place folders, then we have to provide, then we have to provide name based on placeholders or else first you have to provide index based on placeholders before name based on placeholders reverse is not possible first we have to provide like which one index based on placeholders then after that only 
we have to provide like which one name based placeholders all of you observe this clear now this is what exactly the point here i'm telling to you clear that's it Leave this one now this is like which one you know the content here i'm telling to you about this so the condition is very clear what is this condition now that's it is the problem i have done any mistake here i'm going to i think so i think here i need to be change this one one okay. one 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 zero one we are getting it now one okay. Think so zero one here I provided. Yeah, I am Durga. My age is twenty eight, and my qualification is MTech, and I am working with SCL Technologies. That's okay. Fine, good. Right information here we provided. That's okay. Sir. So anyway, then the point is like which one here? What is the point here? I am telling to you. If you want to provide both of them, first we have to provide like which one here? No, first we have to provide index based. Positional placeholders. Then after that one, we have to provide like which one name based placeholders. This is a condition. Here. That's it. Now because of this reason only, I am taking this this particular content. Here. That's it. Now this part is completed. Just we can after this clearly. All this all this uh, points can be understood here regarding this particular one. Okay. With this content here. Next one is after this particular one. After understanding this particular content here. We need to go for the next content. Now, guys, now tell me actually which topic we are discussing. Do you have any awareness on it? Which topic here we are discussing? Do you have any awareness on it? Any idea which topic we are discussing? Yes, actually, the topic is like which one there? Language fundamentals. Am I right? Language fundamentals we are discussing. Right or not? So, language fundamentals here we are discussing. Inside these language fundamentals, how many topics are available? Inside these language fundamentals, how many topics are available? That is the language fundamentals. How many topics are available? What are the topics known? All right, sir. Tokens. And then after that, tell me data types, typecasting, Python statements. All right, sir. So data types and tokens, data types, typecasting, we completed. Next one is like which one? Python statements. We started. Python statements. Inside these Python statements, which topics are available? Can you tell me? Inside these Python statements, which topics are existed here? Can you tell me? Python statements. If you observe this in Python statements, which topics are available? Overall, <coughs> that's the first one is general purpose statements are available that we already we completed. Input and output statements. Next one is like with one conditional statements, iterative statements, and transfer statements. These many statements are existed here, but we have to understand it now. All right, so now let's observe this clearly. Conditional statement. Now already we completed the general purpose statements, input and output statements can be completed. The next one is like which one? Uh, like conditional statements, conditional statements, iterative statements, and transfer statements. So these many statements can be have to understand.